Hey guys, what's going on? Jab here, and in today's video, we're going to be discussing the price level of $7,758 on Bitcoin and why that level is going to determine whether or not Bitcoin will continue the bull market that's currently in on into the rest of this year, or if Bitcoin breaks that, why the bear market is back and why we're probably going to be seeing price targets as low as $6,000 or as far down as $4,500 like we talked about in yesterday's video. Once again, guys, this number is completely substantiated in the charts and you're about to see why it's a very important level that we're going to need to be looking at. As you guys know, Bitcoin will often have decision points where it either decides if it's going to go bearish, bullish, or neutral. So guys, if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you smash that like button. Also hit that subscribe button if you are new here. Turn on post notifications so you'll be updated every time a new video comes out. And without much further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get right on into it. As we know, guys, here over the last couple of days on Bitcoin, Bitcoin has been falling through a lot of support levels. And in fact, we're trading below the 200 daily simple moving average right now. And it's kind of interesting because a lot of people are wondering, well, if we fall below the 200 DS SMA, why has Bitcoin not capitulated yet? Why aren't we trading at $6,000 right now? Someone asked that in the Discord server the other day, and I told them one of the reasons anyway, one of the reasons that we haven't fallen really fast after breaking below the 200 DSMA is because the longer the trend, the stronger the support, the longer it takes to break. So if we were going to break the 200 DSMA, it's going to take a little while, but that's not the only reason. Another major reason is because of the major support that we have built at $8,000 just below that 200 daily simple moving average. And that's where this number comes from. I'm not going to hold you off any longer. I'll show you where it comes from. From. If we bring up our VPVR level, we're going to find $7,758 right here. If you look on the right of your screen, you're going to find right there is the bottom of our VPVR support zone that we have built between about $7,750 and about $8,200. And as you guys can see, that support zone just so happens to be lining up with exactly where we're getting support right now. So guys, not only are we getting support on the 200 DSMA, we're also getting support on all of this price action over here and our VPVR spikes over here that bottom out around $7,758, which is exactly why the bottoms for Bitcoin at the moment are sitting right around $7,700. And if we look here on the hourly chart, we have a double bottom with Bitcoin coming down to these levels and both times bouncing right around 7750 now that's all well and good. Bitcoin's getting support. We all love to see that. We don't want to see Bitcoin crash down to $6,000 or at least a lot of you guys don't. I'd be more than happy for that to happen. I'd be buying so much Bitcoin. It's not even funny. But for those of us who don't want to see Bitcoin return to a bear market for the next six months, $7,750 around that level is where you need to be looking. Because if Bitcoin falls below that level, let me tell you something, guys. There's not a whole lot of support below us until we get all the way down into $3,800, $4,500 territory, $6,000. We talked about this in yesterday's video. If you haven't watched yesterday's video. I'll link it in the top right up here. Go watch that for different price targets for bearishness. But guys, if we break below around $7,750, the next support that we have is a zone between $6,000 and $6,400. And then that 200 weekly simple moving average sitting down here at $4,600, way below us. So guys, I hope you understand that I'm not trying to spread FUD when I'm saying that 7750 is a critical decision point on Bitcoin. And if we fall below that level, that Bitcoin is probably going to be headed to at least $6,000. And if that happens, then we have confirmed a break of the 200 daily simple moving average. And we've pretty much confirmed that the bull market is on hold for a little while. So here's my analysis. It didn't take very long because there's not a whole lot to talk about right now. It's pretty simple to be totally honest. If Bitcoin falls below this level right here, it falls below support right here and stays down there for about 24 to 48 hours to confirm it, Bitcoin has broken bearish and the rest of this year is likely going to be relatively bearish. If, on the other hand, Bitcoin can get up here around $8,700, around there, I'd say, and maintain this, stay above that for 48 to 72 hours, get up here, break bullish, maybe get support and continue higher, then we're kind of out of the woods because I can't really show you here, but this is right around where the 200 daily simple moving average is. I want to see the 200 daily simple moving average acting as support, not resistance. I want to see Bitcoin above that before I turn bullish in any stretch of the imagination. I ran out of breath. Nevertheless, guys, right now, I feel that we're in a bit of a no trade zone. I know a lot of people on YouTube are talking about opening longs, opening shorts. I'm personally not touching this with a 10-foot pole until Bitcoin finishes deciding what it wants to do. Very indecisive right now. We don't know whether Bitcoin's going to break bullish and continue moving to the upside or if it's going to break below 7750 and continue farther to the downside. You want my take on it? Personally, I believe that Bitcoin is more than likely, although not much more than likely, going to break bearish. Everybody's talking about how they're thinking Bitcoin's going to break bearish. Everybody's shorting right now. There's a lot of selling pressure on the market. I'm personally in the bearish camp, but I'm not very loyal to the bearish camp camp. Let me put it that way, because as soon as Bitcoin starts rallying again, even if Bitcoin breaks this short-term downtrend of resistance, we might be bullish again. It might not take a whole lot. So guys, to wrap the video up on a positive note, I do want to show you one thing, and that would be this chart right here. Let me show you the RSI. Check this out. Bitcoin has a flat level of support right here at around $7,780. And we actually have a very well-defined uptrend on the RSI over here. Guys, this is called, let's see if I can remember, because there's 70 of them, regular, exaggerated, bullish RSI divergence. Got it. All five of them. Got it. 
this is actually relatively bullish for Bitcoin because when it's flat on the chart and when you have an uptrend on the technical indicator, oftentimes that is going to indicate that you're going to move in the same direction as the technical indicator, which is to the upside. So this is slightly bullish. It doesn't mean a whole lot, guys, on the four hourly chart. There's a lot more important things going on right now than, than some RSI divergence on the four hourly. But interestingly enough, if we look out here on the daily chart, we see the same thing with downtrends on the wicks here and a slight little uptrend here on the daily chart. So maybe this little baby RSI divergence will come in and save the day. Maybe Bitcoin can get back up above and not like $9,000 continue moving higher. But guys, that's really going to have to be the extent of our technical analysis. There's not a whole lot more to look at other than sentiment. And guys, I think you know what the sentiment is. The sentiment's rather bearish right now. Tell me in the comment section and in a poll I'll put in the top right, are you guys feeling bullish or bearish on Bitcoin? Specifically, do you think Bitcoin's going to continue higher? Do you think the bull market's still going on or do you think the Bitcoin bear market is coming back for the next six months or so? Do you think that we're going to have to come back down to $6,000, test that, bounce there, then continue higher later on in this year, moving on into next year? Or do you think that 2020, or do you think $20,000 is coming sooner than we may have expected? I'd love to hear your opinions on that in the comment section down below, guys. Let's keep the conversation going on down there. I'm going to try to respond to as many comments as I possibly can today. So if there's anything you'd like to get my opinion on, now's the day. Tell me in the comment section down below. And also guys, if you want to join the conversation, you can do so over on the Discord server, link down below. And you can follow me on my Twitter account where I post charts sometimes and I pretend I'm funny sometimes and also pretend that I know how to write inspirational quotes sometimes. Great Twitter feed. You should totally come follow me at CryptoJeb. After all, I did receive a participation award in the third grade. Anyway guys, that is enough rambling for today's video. I do hope you guys did enjoy today's video. I want to wrap it up before we get to 10 minutes because some of you guys are going to flame me and tell me I'm just extending it for mid-roll. So that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I do want to thank each and every single last one of you for watching as always. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh!